In the West, the top seed is North Carolina, and they will see Michigan State. Now, for all of the great success that the Spartans have had in the tournament, none of it has come at the expense of the Tar Heels. North Carolina 5-0 head-to-head against Sparty, and they've outscored them by double figures as they anticipate this latest matchup. We've played some some outstanding bigs over the years. Um, Edie, obviously, a heck of a player. Um, Baycott, obviously, brings a little bit different of a challenge. Well, they've got an inside-outside threat, you know, and then they got other guys that can shoot the ball and can play it. But I do think we match up with them decently uh, as far as size and that at most positions. I mean, the guard matchups is, is going to be very key in determining, you know, the outcome of the game. They got a pretty good guard in Walker who's been averaging about 20 points a game. You know, he's tough, makes shots off the dribble, make three-point shots. Uh, it starts and ends with toughness for us, and that's what fuels us. And so tomorrow's no different. We got to bring the toughness, we got to bring the edge, bring the fight. Hubert Davis mentioned the guard matchup. Is that where you start, Jay Will? It is. Well, first off, I was shocked that the line is three and a hook. I mean, talk about <laughs> one versus a nine, three and a hook. Like, that's almost a pick em. Um, but I, I do like the way Ty Walker's been playing RD. Uh, like he said, he's been averaging 20 points in the tournament. He's dynamic. I think this is also a game where A.J. Hogart needs to be next level. Like I, I feel like watching a lot of their games, you want him to play at a different level because he can. Maybe he hasn't got there consistently enough. But when you go against the backcourt of the way that – you know, R.J. Davis and Cadeau play. I think that's a matchup that they have to win every shot to win this game. Look, I, I agree with that. I, I think the matchups are going to be really interesting in this basketball game. And, you know, I think the bigger picture is how do you prepare for an NCAA tournament game when you play one game and 36 hours later you got to be ready? So every single coach, it's a four-team tournament is basically what you're going to. So every single coach, they have a scouting report, and this is actually Michigan State's scouting report for who they're going to potentially play. And they got all their film breakdowns. But Tom Izzo's, he's a little fanatical. So he takes to a different level. Takes one and right? one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they just <laughs> beat Mississippi State, which is great. They have a little meal, and you know what they do? The managers go, and they put up a little court. You know, couldn't get a ballroom because there were some functions there. So what you do? You just tape up a you know, three-point line in the lane, and you get ready to go. <laughs> Lighting was a little bit suspect, but they killed the outside lights on the rooftop of the uh, hotel. Wow. And you see there's Armando Bay Cup making a roll right here. You know, you got to tag that roller a little bit better. And, you know, at the end of this, you know, you, you know that Carmack Ryan's going to be in some corner. Oh, we got to get it squared up. There's a Carmack Ryan because you know he's going to go to some corner of the floor. But that's what you do. And they, they went through their walkthrough right after the Mississippi State game. Now, what are they going to have to deal with? With North Carolina, this is what they're going to have to deal with as they get through this walkthrough. What they're going to have to deal with, the North Carolina team is versatile, has size, but they've got good matchups. Here's in transition. You play Carolina, you get to get back in transition. Watch right here. Here you got Harrison Ingram. He's going to back people down. That's going to be a good matchup. When we call Harrison Ingram, as he backs down, they're going to play with good spacing. You're going to see Baycott die. This is just early offense. Here's Elliott Cadeau. They're probably not going to guard him, all right, or they're going to help off him like other teams have done in the tournament. NC State did a great job with that. And on this back down, Carolina does a good job with spacing right here. Here's the double, which you would probably see Michigan State do. What does Carolina do? One, two, three. And watch Harrison Ingram. He does a great job on that extra pass to relocate, relocate and knock down this three. And that's what makes Harrison Ingram a really tough matchup. He can back you down into the paint. He can shoot the three. He's a terrific passer. That will be a matchup to watch. But I think the other thing to watch is how they guard Elliot Cadeau. I think maybe defend him with a bigger athlete so that that guy could be a help defender with everything else that Carolina does. And you said the reason they were outside doing that walkthrough was there was a wedding, a wedding. in the ballroom. You know, so, you know, the wedding thing, and the first, would have liked to kick the wedding out. Well, and the first rule of wedding crashing is no excuses, play like a champion. <laughs> 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 but speaking of playing like a champion, I think the, the matchup you identified, Malik Hall and Harrison Ingram, is going to be huge. And I don't think Harrison Ingram over the last three, four games has played as well as he's capable of playing. And when in this game, I think he is the key guy for North Carolina. Obviously, R.J. Davis averaging 21 points a game and Armando Baycott establishing him inside are really important. But Harrison Ingram can be the difference maker in this game. If he gets double-digit rebounds going against Malik Hall, if he can get Malik Hall in foul trouble, and if he's aggressive looking to score on some of those back downs when he has an opportunity, but also knocking down uh, open threes, I think he needs to be aggressive looking to score. A couple things about that ballroom situation. Games in Charlotte, Tar Heels, Tar Heel fans obviously 
rented out all of the ballrooms. And there's also <laughs> the thing. Didn't I see Elliot Cadeau in a commercial for a hotel chain? Yes. And I think I did. Yes. Maybe that's where they're staying. Elliot says well, that's part of the deal. He can't He's get probably got a big old room in a suite, I would yeah, say. And, yeah. and as, well, <laughs> as well he should. Okay, Michigan State, North Carolina, Izzo. Winless in the tournament, 0-5 mm. against Carolina, 3-9 and nine in his career. 83% of the fans say that Carolina will win the game. 67% of the three of you say that Michigan State will pull the upset. Okay, let's go quick. Why do, why do you have confidence in North Carolina? As Jay will mention, smaller spread than you might have expected. I, I think they're better at the five spot. North Carolina is with Baycott. That's one of the areas where Michigan State has struggled. And I think Michigan State, if they play like they did against Mississippi State, this is going to be a brawl. The issue is going to be, I think you heard Cormac Ryan say it, the edge. You know, the toughness, the defensive intensity. When Carolina brings that, in the games where they have brought that, they have been great. And I think they're going to bring that against Michigan State. Yeah, Tyson Walker's got to neutralize R.J. Davis. Not that he's going to be matched up with him, but he's got to give him a little punch. 15,000 in front court for Michigan State. They got three big guys. If one thing they can do, they can foul. They you can see? foul, but I wouldn't waste <laughs> it. Wouldn't waste Carolina them. loves yeah. to get to the free yeah. throw line. I'll just say this. I think North Carolina is the better team. As we've seen, the better team doesn't always win these games. I think if this game is in the trenches, Michigan State is very, very dangerous. That's a, that's a great point. You say it, and people say, well, what does that mean? The better team doesn't win. The team that plays the best. Sometimes the team that just plays the best in the right moments mm -hmm. end up winning the game. Best